All right, man. Welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And if you're new, welcome to Agree to Disagree. I'm my boy, Jay Lloyd. Greg Williams. DG. And we got Pops. There you go. There you go. All right, man. Uh, quick announcement before we get into it. Not an announcement. Got a little shout out. Um, I want to shout out uh, Player of the Week, Brandon Ingram. Um Got player of the week this week and the Western Conference. And I think I think Andre Drummond got it in the Eastern Conference. So I know we usually start the show out shouting out players of the week. So we shouting out players of the week. And um yeah, we'll go into it from that. All right. First topic, man. Let's let's get into it. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Um <laughs> got this, we got this clipper loss, man. Um worst loss and Franchise history, worst loss in NBA history. So I don't really got too much to say about it. So I'm gonna go with who going who who got a lot to say first. Uh right, let's go with Pops. Let's go with Pops. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> go ahead, Pops. Listen, I <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I would just go listen. That um it's, it's early in the season. It's early in the season. But my problem with, 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 with that whole thing was at halftime, they were down by 50. They lost the game by 51. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, Okay, you down by 50. Okay, if there's some type of in the season, everybody's going to take that beat down. It's okay. But at some point, you were waiting on them to like at least get down by 30 or 25 to show some fight. It never happened. And then I'm not trying to get on my boy. I'm really not. But Paul George needs to really just stop talking, man. He just needs to. I get what he was saying, but you can't come out and say my Christmas was was I was just out there on Christmas and then to say we weren't ready. So, you know, I'm going to put the blame on me and hold myself accountable of how we start. So now every time it go wrong, Paul George will come out and say, uh, my bad. But then a few months ago, he rode Doc Rivers under the bus and said there was no adjustment. Ty Rue, Ty Lue over the coaching, man. He tried to fight. Ty Rue, Ty Lue was sitting there with his arms crossed. That's yeah. because you, I mean, you can't, at halftime is 50, then you lose the game by 51. And, and mind you, the math was trying to let them have it. They, they, they it was no joke. They were trying to give it to him. That concerns me. I mean, down by 50, you need someone to cut that thing down to 30, but it never happened, man. So, <laughs> wow. Just, I'm done. Yeah, man. I, uh... <laughs> oh, go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. I don't have too much to say. I mean, but when I, you know, when you look at the stats, 13 points in the first quarter, 14 in the second. It was seventy-seven to seven to what twenty-seven in the yeah. first half, which is not good. And and you know I do my best to call it like it is. Kawhi wasn't there, so that that was a factor as well. But then you look at the other stats as well. I mean, you know, I mean they could make any threes. I think they made what, one. They made three. They made four threes in a the game. There's no there's no team in the NBA that won a game if you can't shoot the three. You know what I mean? Um, and the Mavericks, on the other hand, you know. Luca went off 24 points, even though he didn't hit a, hit a three. Richardson 21, Hardaway Jr. 18. Everybody else did. Brun, Brunson 19. But here's the thing, like I said before, I mean the Clippers only had what three people in double figures. I mean, but you know after you know I think they're already demoralized after that first quarter and, and halftime. It's hard to come back from that. And uh, I think Ty Lue kind of is like I think he bit more than he could chew. You know what I mean? But I just don't know who would be the perfect fit for that job. Uh, uh, um, go ahead, BG. Yeah, I mean it's it was bad. Obviously, I mean watching the game, 
Um, obviously, it just looked like the Mavericks wanted it more. I mean, they were stuck in L.A. Obviously, got, you know, played play the Lakers on Christmas Day and then having to sit around and, you know, play uh, the next day. But uh, my my thing is, I just at, at what point does PG just say, forget the offense? I'm going to just try to at least get something, especially in the first half. Right. Like trying to run this offense like I mean, we've all been there as coaches where we just get blown out and, you, and you're trying your best because but we're dealing with, you know, young kids. We're dealing with young boys and girls. We're trying to keep them motivated. You know, these guys are paid pros. But I think once they went into the half, they just they didn't care. And Pops brought up the good point. I mean, you got to at least try to cut it down to 30. But there was just no there was just no <laughs> sense of anything, man. Like it's to me like I mean, I think Pops brought up it's, to me it's not concerning. I think it's just one of those where. You know, it, it's bad. It looks really bad. Obviously, it, it was terrible, but Pops brought it up, man. I, I, I don't like to get on PG because he's been doing good so far, but you can't come out and say, I take responsibility. And literally the next sentence is, well, you know, it's just Christmas Day got the best of me. You know, we all know these guys travel. They play back to back. They've been in the league for so long. We know they go and do their thing at night, their nightlife that they do. But now Christmas is the problem. Like growing up, everybody wanted to play on Christmas, right? That was the goal. And then obviously the next day, whatever it is, or the day after. Um, but for him to make that as, as the main excuse, is, uh, it, that's that's what got me. The, the blowout loss, it happens, whatever, not by 50 all the time, but it's it's, it's what, you know, what he had to say. So, but I'm not concerned. I think they'll be all right. Craig brought up uh, Kawhi's not there. It, it's a little different when he's there. <clears throat> Go ahead, Jay. Um. I don't think they addressed their issue, which is to me the elephant in the room. I think they're a very mentally fragile team. If you look at them last year, um, I thought they folded mentally. I don't think it was a physical thing. It wasn't a talent thing. It was a mental. I thought they didn't do a good job when it got mentally tough to fight back. They're a team that wants to win on their talent. They're not necessarily to me a good team, though. They just want to beat you because they have better players. You look at the Mavs. The Mavs didn't forget last year. The Mavs felt like they should have beat them last year. So they came in with that different type of fight. And the Clippers just didn't and don't have that. And we can say quiet. I mean, I know that's a good point, but the Mavs didn't have Porzingis. You know what I'm saying? Like, Porzingis didn't even play yesterday. And they still took uh, a 51 point thrashing man so I just I see I see the same habits to me as last year this year and I don't think I think Craig hit it on the nail man I don't think Teron Lou I know it's early but I just don't know who could fit that job I think if they were willing to pay Rondo a little bit more I think a person like that could have kind of kept the team banded together but I don't think they have anybody on that roster that they respect enough. Pat Bev tries, but they don't respect his game enough for him to be <laughs> that guy. Kawhi doesn't, I don't think, uh, verb verbally like assert himself enough. And PG has always been PG, you know? So, yeah, man, I, I think we all – what else can you say after a team loses by 51, man, and down 50 at halftime? There's not much you can say. But at the end of the day, lastly, they're professionals, man. And I just feel like it's your job to go out there and give more of an effort when you have these people watching you tuning in. They're not going to the games right now, but to show up and play like that, man, we're an NBA team and be down 50. We can't talk about them going two for 22 in the first half, you know, from three. That that was an effort thing. Just, just effort alone, you should be down 20, not 50. So. My thoughts. And to hold on, B. And to to add on that, um effort obviously, but it's just like like you guys said, they're pros, man. And yeah. they have a lot of the same team, oh well, a lot of the same players from the Clippers that were there last year that played against the Mavs last year. Dallas did the same exact thing that they did in the playoffs that tore yeah, them up. <laughs> Pick and roll, Luca puts you on your back, on his back, and he picks you apart. Every single time he came off the pick and roll, he had his defender on his back, got all the way in the paint, dribbled all the way in the paint, last second, dump off. 
or last second kick three, last second floater. And I'm making it quick too. And and the Paul George man, oh, stop I, I talking, think, man. Like, I, I think Pop said it best. Yeah. Pop said it best. Stop stop talking because everyone remembers what you said at the beginning of the season. You said you're ready, right? You've been watching Cole all <laughs> every day, all day. Don't you dare put that on my boy Cole, man. <laughs> they, they come out here and say, well. <laughs> well, we we played on Christmas and we, we we're just coming off the of seeing our family. We weren't ready to play. Oh man, that's that's terrible, man. And Jay said it best too, man. This team is mentally uh, fragile, yeah, fragile. Like, and then they didn't see Kawhi out there, and even with Kawhi, man, that was gonna be a game regardless because Dallas Dallas needed that. They really did need that. It, it, it's yeah, one man, of it, 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 it's really one of those things where, like, the Clippers are trying to. Like last year, it was a lot of vibrato with them, you know. A lot, they, they, you know, they they was trying to be the bully in the box, <clears throat> and then so now, they're trying to play that. We're gonna let our game do the talking. Well, if the other if that game was any clue of what y'all gonna do. Then y'all, 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 they they're in trouble. I mean, you lose Kawhi and lose by 51. And then my problem with it is that, okay, it's early in the season, guys try to fit it, but you saw nobody trying to hold nobody accountable. Like nobody was like, everybody just dropping their head. You know, like who's gonna tell somebody, hey man, let's at least let's make a run. Nobody, it was just timeout, timeout. And you know, then finally, yeah, sit down. Like I can't, you know, if this what we're gonna go through, this gonna be a problem. I think PG needs to stop, man. Like I I, said, don't put that on code. Yeah, for real. Mm. I think Jerry Jerry brought up. I mean, one of the best points I think is the Mavericks needed that, right? Obviously, they're they're old, they're zero and two coming in, but I think obviously you guys brought it up how they remembered last year in the in the in the in the playoffs, but yeah, it's like it's. They came out, took it that personal, and like like you guys are saying, nobody else on the other side just they were just like whatever about it, like that that just shows you like like you guys are saying how fragile they are because it's I didn't think about it that way how much they the match really wanted to come back and and, and give it to them. So it was so it was so disrespectful. <clears throat> it was it was like when we're coaching games and we're down by sixty and they still press them. Yeah, like, it was so disrespectful. And that, and that's my thing. Like, like we brought up, like teams cut that lead into 30, 25 or whatever. That's how good the, that's how much the Mavs wanted. Even their second string, third string guys were coming in, and and the, the, even the Clippers, they just they didn't care. They just and, like they just. And another thing I don't like too, man. Like you, you sit the you sit the dudes out in the fourth quarter that started the mess, man. Nah, man, they got to go out there and fix that. All right. Like you bailing mm. them out, putting them on the bench. Yeah, like they gotta go out there and my, fix that, man. They gotta. That's a humbling experience. That's my brothers asking. They're like, "Do you come out at half with starting the starters?" I'm like, "You have to. It's you're a pro. Like, they, like you, you gotta show something, man. You can't be down fifty and then you're just gonna come out and sit." Hey, like that. Hey, B. If that was if that was old old eight Lakers, what's Cole doing? <laughs> he ain't passing that thing. He, like he, it, you ain't even gotta you ain't even gotta make the shot, bro. Just just take some type of yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like they, they were they were like obviously you know you have to run some sort of off. You can't come down one on five, but they were running it to a point. Running any offense. That's what I'm saying. They were just uh, to a point where they were just moving the ball and just standing there. It's like hey, they were running options. Options, yeah. Without attacking the basket. Yeah. And then it <laughs> did send the pick and roll after the third handoff. I'm like, bro, what are they Tyloo standing over there like this. Uh, <laughs> but you know what, too? It, it, it goes also to it lets you know NBA is such a fraternity, but it lets you know how many teams the Clippers rubbed the wrong, wrong way last year. Yeah. Think about that. It, they're pros, bro. So they may be up 30. But like even the Lakers last night with Minnesota, they pulled back. They pulled back. They could have. They could have smacked Minnesota by forty. Minnesota stopped playing and all that. The Lakers kind of pulled back, and they they kept running their offense, but they weren't deliberately trying to like embarrass Minnesota. 
we just gonna beat you and 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 move on. Right, y'all young. We gonna be trying to work it. So y'all see what it is. The Clippers rubbed a lot of people in the league the wrong way, and you can tell how Dallas played them. Rick Carlisle is a veteran coach, dude. Most times, he'll kind of pull back, and bro, they were not pulling back like y'all said. So it's gonna be even harder for the Clippers this year, man, because. They got a target on their back, and they didn't even win the championship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah, they, they John said it. We, we've been there before. We get smacked by 50, and then we see them the next time. We're up. All right, well, we'll remember. We remember when yeah. you, you were pressing us. Back. We remember yeah. when you were running up the score, calling a timeout up 50 with oh, two yeah. minutes left to run a play. All right, yeah. God, we'll remember that. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 15 to 2, and they put it on Facebook. I said, okay. You good, Bob. You good. You good. Y'all have it. And I let them have it. I let them have it. No, I ain't letting them. We going to rep. 50 to 2, and you going to put it on Facebook for sure. Okay. <laughs> With your right. kids, or when I play your kids, it's a wrap. <laughs> I let them have it. Go ahead, Craig. I just, I just want to make a quick point, because I think that after what happened in the playoffs – it's like, okay, are they going to – when we address in the whole mentally tough situation, are they able to bounce back from that? Is this a residual effect of what happened in the playoffs? Or Worse. are they going to come out swinging? So, you know, you know, it's going to take it's gonna take another five or six games to see where they're really at. Mm, good point. And, and just to uh, kind of switch gears, um, Jerry talked about Target being on their back. Um, this is a – I want to talk about the Warriors a little bit, man, um, because when those teams, uh, when other teams play against the Warriors, I, it's not like the Clippers. They ain't trying to embarrass them, but they they kicking them while they down a little bit, man. Teams are teams are kind of going at them. So mm-hmm. my question to y'all is, um, does Steph get another pass this year, or is it time for him to kind of accept where he's at? Um, and the roster he has, and he has to produce. He's still in this prime. Um, granted, he ain't got uh, Clay Thompson out for the season. Draymond's got a sore hamstring, but he'll be back. Um, I think he has enough to where he should be competitive, and at least in terms of making the playoff, it should be a competitive um, uh, race for the playoffs with him. He's a unanimous MVP. Two-time MVP, one year in the Animus. Like, are we holding them accountable or are we getting them a pass, man? I'm going to start with you on this one, BG. Um, I, I personally, I think I'm going to give them a pass. And it's, and it's just because I think it – and I guess it's passing is kind of not – here, here's one of my points is I think it's starting to show how much Clay Thompson really was important to that team. Obviously, we knew that, but the importance of him being – not the third or fourth option, but obviously with KD there, um, you know, uh, Curry there and all that. I think he got lost every now and then, but we, we knew, like, real basketball people know how important he was. But um, I, I'm going to give him a pass this year, but it's – I agree with you, John. I think they should be more competitive than they, what they've shown. But you can just see – I saw the first game. I've only – I was only able to watch the first game against the Nets. And granted, the Nets, you know, are, are legit, but they just look so lost. They, they don't look like they run that system the way they did. I think one of you guys brought it up in the group chat. Uh, Draymond's such a huge part of getting people in spots and putting them in their in situations which they would be in. But I mean, watching the the, the Warriors of old, even before KD got there, you would just see how naturally the, the offense flowed. They knew how to read. They knew if this wasn't there, you go back door or you curl it or whatever. Here, you could see a lot of people running into each other, pointing. You go this way, I go this way. So I'm gonna give them a pass. I, I think they should at least be contending for the la- like the last two spots of the of the western conference but i wouldn't say he's he's not as good as you know we know he is because of this year but i think it's obviously everything's put in his hand now to to kind of figure it out with these with this new group so um i'll give him a pass this year <clears throat> so when you give him a pass is that in terms of not making playoffs or for his play because his- he's not he's not playing he's not playing great yeah he's playing I- okay uh, that's a good question i think I think it would be for his for for the playoffs because I think his play has to be there if you're going to be ranked up there. Obviously, he changed the game by the way he plays, the way he shoots the ball. But um, 
I, I think it would be for the playoffs. I think his game's got to do something. Um, you know, obviously, you, you got to go out there. If you got to go up there and drop 35, close to 30 points a game. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. I mean, he's going to have to be out there, you know, probably not get a lot of rest. But I will, I will give him a pass on not making the playoffs. But like you said, John, I think they have a, a, a good enough team to compete, especially if he plays the way he's supposed to play. Uh, go ahead, Jay. This is something you kind of touched up on in the past when we used to talk about top PGs. So mm-hmm. I'm going to let you go. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I agree with BG to the point where he needs to get – he has to get them to the seventh or eighth seed. I'm disappointed, though, man. I feel like Stephen Curry is the greatest player that's ever played with the lowest expectations I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Like when you really like just say, he's the greatest player yeah. that's ever played the game with the lowest expectations I've ever seen. He's a like LeBron's the greatest. Never mind. No, well, he's a two time MVP. Yeah. He he they won 73 games that year that they lost, and probably one of the biggest people would say upsets in NBA history. Um Kevin Durant came over and they won two more. He's never won a finals MVP. Here's what killed me. And I, I, this, this, this is one narrative. I, I don't know if y'all caught it. It's going to sound like shade, but it's not shade. Steph hasn't been playing well this year. So what did ESPN do? At all. Do y'all know what ESPN did? ESPN showed a clip. Oh, a video of him making 105 threes. making 105 threes in a row. <laughs> now, let me say this right now. I have never done it. <laughs> I cannot do it. So, everybody in the comments, <laughs> I cannot uh, and have not ever made 105 threes in a row. What that man did is amazing. However, if they had, if Kobe Bryant was picking it up <laughs> like this, we not showing Cole working on fades in practice. We not showing LeBron doing military presses in the weight room. Their ESPN is on his head. What's wrong with LeBron? Kobe had Chris Mim. He still was supposed to win. Nah, nah man. They, they do it for they, they do it for Bron a little bit. They show his workout at yeah. the take else. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, but it's different, bro. It's different. LeBron. Uh, you're right, you're right. I'm not gonna make it another LeBron episode. What I'm saying is. Stephen Curry, man, has to get more blame, bro. Like, you went and you got Andrew Wiggins, who was a 19 or 20 point scorer. Kelly Oubre was a 19 or 20 point scorer. They weren't winning games, but you you should have enough, man. You're Stephen Curry. They're, they're not doing you know, anything either, years. though, Jay. Yeah, but they're like what? three for 58, but they're you like three a- for eight. So it's not like we could say they're, they're killing two. No, I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, He's a two-time MVP. When when Kobe Brown was unanimous MVP, bro. When Kobe Brown was sticking it up, they didn't blame. They didn't say they still blame Cole. Man, Cole need to win. Kobe Brown was terrible. Nah, Cole got to win. <laughs> what? And then we gonna talk about three hundred fifty-eight? Nah, man, <laughs> they barely beat the Bulls. It was so bad. I'm gonna let y'all take it. It was so bad. The game, the, the shot that uh, Damian Lee made. I don't know if y'all watched that play. Stephen uh, so, Curry was open. Y'all still didn't run the right. Stephen Curry was wide open. And you throw the ball. You better be think we made that shot. Boy, because Stephen Curry was wide open for game. And you threw it to Damian Lee. Come on, man. Like, I, I don't know. I just – he ain't got a lot to work <laughs> with, man. But Damian Lillard but, – but, No, man. But no, Jay, man. He, he, but he came in, obviously, he was a high draft pick, but he was that guy in college, obviously. But he never came in, like, the greatest ever. He's going to be this. They always came in. He's too short. I'm going to be able to shoot the ball like that. BG, I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am. I I'm am just so, saying. I am I'm so saying. disappointed. Try. I'm so disappointed. Why? So disappointed. It's, it's the truth. You was on Brian when he didn't get the Lakers to the playoffs. Yeah, but Bron, Bron came out with a cast after he got swept. Talking oh, about y'all like this. Uh, I'm okay. not doing this. All right. so. okay. It's fact. He's not a core ball. I'm in there. I'm not. That's crazy, it. though. We're not going to hold Steph accountable. But I right. said I, I said I would. I said I would. You said you said for not make you said for not making the playoffs, but not his play. Yeah, I mean, you're still only three games in, man. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, I know that saying of it's just one loss or it's just been three games. It don't look good at all. Pop, Pop said it I, when the Lakers lost on on ring night. It's one of eight, one of seventy two. Yeah, but the Warriors ain't to defend the champions. True. And they ain't got the best uh, two players in the world, so that's different. And Steph Curry, I saw a stat, bro. Steph Curry, I think for the season or something, bro, he was like eight for fifty from three. Is he? Yes, bro. They're all they all can shoot right. It now. might be less than eight. And then yeah. Kelly Ober, they said Kelly O. How do you say Ubre? Ubre. Kelly Ubre, he hasn't made a jumper all season. He well, hasn't said, made one jumper all they're, season. They're combined. Him and Wiggins are combined like four for thirty some or forty some. Ooh, wait. Go ahead, Craig. Well, I was, the first thing I'm going to say, I wasn't going to say this until Jay brought it up. And I said it so many different shows, different people with different, you know, personalities and reputations. They get passes that they may or may not deserve. We talked mm-hmm. about players that don't get them, like the Tim Hardaways, the Chris Webbers. And I think that when they get piggy packed with Jay said, like, you know, we, he's not held accountable based on what his reputation is, you know. But me personally, I just think that people were saying even if Clay was here, that they would have been contenders. I disagreed then. I just think that they would age and their style of play and, and how much better the whole league is. Not not just the Western Conference has gotten. It would hard to do. Be, it would hard to be able to accomplish that. But I would say you got to give him a pass because he just ain't got the horses to. You know, and it's based on what you're. Like I said on the last show, what do, we all have our own barometers of what how we rate these players and what they need to accomplish to in our own. You know, for our own personal opinions on how good they are but it's like i mean what would you expect though i mean you know ac maybe i mean yeah. i mean there's a lot of different teams that, that he's just not gonna go through you got the spur i mean you got the Suns that got better you know what i'm saying you got obviously portland i mean and you look at his first game there's no way he's gonna he, they were gonna win to the nets they lost by what 39 to the bucks he put up 19 and he had to put up 36 for them to win by one point over the bulls you know how bad they are he shot so, eight for thirty-five. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> but you, yeah, but I'm like, it's, it's kind of like piggyback. What we said last show, you'd be a great player, man, but you need, you, you need, need help. You need help to win. You, you need you, help. I mean, this league has shown over the last ten years, you need at least two, two players, two superstars to win, and that's not me. You know, I, I mean, the numbers and and what happened, it says it speaks loudest. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I just my expectations ain't that high for him. Now, if he makes the playoffs, I think that that'd be a good accomplishment. But even if he makes the playoffs, you know he's, they're gonna get dumped in the first round. I mean, based on how good the West is, so I, I say give him a pass just based on what he what he's working with right let, now. Let me ask Jared this. Let me ask Jared for a pause. Goes Jared after LeBron got hurt his first year here, and they didn't make the playoffs. What did we do? We gave him a pass, right? Because he didn't have enough. They were too young. The coach was inexperienced. So it's like I know it's not the exact same situation, but it's it, he doesn't have he didn't have enough. Curry doesn't have enough right now. I like I said. I, uh, Wiggins and and Ubre could be that, but they're not showing it right now. So, it's if, it's if, if LeBron did not get hurt that year and they didn't make the playoffs, it would have been a fail. I would I would have blamed LeBron. The only reason I felt LeBron got a pass because he got hurt. But before LeBron, but he had got a chance hurt, to come back. He had a chance to come back and get him at least into the seventh or eighth seed with a bunch of dudes that nobody wanted. Yeah, so, yeah. we gave him a pass. You can't yeah. say dudes is stinking it up when you're stinking it up. When LeBron came back, he was still LeBron. He was still 25, 8, and 8. Steph's not Steph right now. So I yeah, get three games in. He you're yeah. talking about this dude played 30 games and got hurt, and then he came back. He was this dude's three games in. Like we're making it seem like this dude should be right now, should be three and no. Nobody thought they would be three and no. When when we're talking about holding him accountable, we're obviously talking about the longevity of the season. So you're, you're saying he's three games in, meaning that he's not going to shoot like this forever. If yeah. he's not going to shoot like this forever and he's playing better, then that's that's different. But I'm saying as of right now, like, he has to play better. That's not on Kelly. That's not on Andrew Wiggins. If Steph is being Steph, it opens things up for everyone else. But if you don't have one guy on that team doing their job, which is Steph Curry, if he's not being great, it doesn't make – like, it makes everyone else's job those role players, it makes it their job harder. But this is what I was saying, and I know Pop's got to go, but this is what I was saying. I feel like he's always got a pass. He's always had so much talent around him. When he has these street, when he has these slumps that he has right now, 
we don't really talk about it because they win anyway. Because they have Clay, they have Draymond, and they have KD. So when Steph stinks it up, stinks it up, no one says anything because he always has so much help. With I think with Cole, with Bron, with with other guys at that level, when they stink it up, they get blamed, regardless if they have help or not. Like they get blamed. Giannis, Giannis got destroyed as he should last year. He was the MVP of the league, and they lost in the second round. We're talking about a former two-time MVP not making the playoffs. Cole only got one MVP. He got one more MVP than Cole. And he and he get a pass? Nah, Cole man. took Smush Parker, man. Nah, he took man. Smush Parker to the playoffs. So we're, we're comparing LeBron. And, we're, we're comparing Curry and Kobe on the same level? Up. Uh, Bro, he's a he got two, two MVPs. Are you kidding me? I, 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 MVPs, LeBron knew he deserved too. Hey, hey, B, let me let me ask you this: Who's who's this kid? These kids' generation is Kobe. Who's their Kobe? Curry and LeBron. I I, I don't I don't see it. I don't. I, I I get the point you guys are saying. I just I would. I don't see it. I That's don't. crazy, man. Hey, hey, when you switch this, you're destroying LeBron. You're destroying him. If this was LeBron doing this, bro, you're destroying him. Me too. But, like, you're, you're destroying <laughs> And him. I just said, why, though? He, like, I, the, I always said this. It's the antics for me with LeBron. It's never been about his play. <sighs> hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on it's hold the on. truth. Boss, bring it full circle for us. Come on, you know Bob. Come on, Bob. You know he's tripping, Bob. Come on. Tell us the key, Pops. <laughs> hey, boss, we appreciate you standing there patient too, bro. Hey, man, no, it's cool, man. I, I been, hey, I would have been cut somebody off. <laughs> no, it's cool. <laughs> but cause here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna take it like this, and I and, and it, it, no shade against the dude, but you got to hold him accountable. You have to hold him. If it's Cole, Cole getting held accountable for that. Magic, Larry Bird, AI, they're getting beat up for this. Now, what's going on, because what's, what's happening is the league is the league is babying Golden State right now. That's what they're doing. They're babying them. Mm. They don't want to get old Steve Kerr now. All of a sudden, <laughs> they don't get on him. Uh, Draymond got the hands. It's point blank. You got to hold that dude accountable. You can you know what you got. It's easy to blame Andrew. Andrew Riggins, my we might well just put him in the bus product. He, he is over. He, he you know, <laughs> but what Steph is doing, and Steph didn't just start this. Steph was doing this before he hurt his hand last year. Steph was right. doing this before he hurt, hurt his hand. And right. he was struggling. I mean, even you can even go back to far as and I'm going to piggyback on an old episode we had, you might as well really can piggyback on when they lost that 3-1 series. He was some of the reason for that. He was some of the nah, that was that was that was Harrison Barnes. It was. I, I mean, it, that's, <laughs> I, 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 that's Barnes. But when you want to turn it full circle and break it down, um, we're, we're babying him, man. Yeah. We are babying him. He stunk it up. He stinked it up. B. And, and you That's cannot crazy. go. Well, yeah, he doesn't have the horses. But we'll, we'll see what's the season. It just it's, it's premature. I it is, what. but we're speaking hypothetically. If he doesn't what. handle what he's supposed to do, like, are we holding him accountable? Listen, you put AI playing against Kyrie and KD. I guarantee you AI would have lost by thirty. He would have made that game at least by fifteen because he got that much heart. Steph doesn't play like that. It's like we're gonna run around and run off the screen. Oh, right. He was jacking them up. <laughs> he's been jacking them up. It's not like he's just sitting out there like the Clippers were. Hey, John, brought up, hey, hey. John brought up a valuable point. I think it was John. He was Bro. a unanimous. Unanimous, B. I unanimous. That. And then I think, I mean, I don't know if Craig, because Craig would kind of agree with me. Has never been done. Craig, Craig, Craig only want to hold Kawhi accountable, so we. Ain't no, that's not true, man. No, no, I'm not, no, exactly, no, no, I'm fair. Exactly. I'm fair. I'm fair with everybody. <laughs> exactly. No, I told you. Hey, I'm happy you said that because I held Kawhi accountable because you left a championship team 
brought somebody else over, <laughs> and that that you you put more a bigger target in your back. But we, ain't, but we ain't gonna hold Steph accountable though. No, that's not what I'm saying. But man, look, man, listen, <laughs> what I'm saying. I, I think this season, his we have to hold Nobody him more expected accountable. Anything. No, we have to hold him more accountable based on how he plays personally. But okay. realistically, okay. Right, okay. but to realistically, realistically think that that team's gonna make it, you know, that team might barely make it to the playoffs. I mean, that's 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 fine. I I agree with that. Like if you're if you're not gonna if you're not gonna make the playoffs, like your that's best player, too, your though. best player has to be your best player. Right, but he I has think to too be the best player. But like we over like if we're gonna call it, we're gonna say this like hey, Brian has a good point, man. We three games in. You and know, that's, that's my thing. And I, I should have said how you, when you asked me, John, you said, is, are we going to are we going to give him a pass for his player? The team not making it. I said, we got to We got to get on him if he doesn't play the way he's supposed to. Nobody expected anything after we all know we could all sit here and say we know we weren't. They weren't going to be contenders, but we all expected them to be in the playoffs if Clay was there. Once Clay got hurt, we said we don't care about the Warriors. Anymore. You know what? Nobody no. cared about him because everybody before Clay got hurt, why is it kept? Everybody had them dudes almost a number two seed. Before Clay got hurt, before he got hurt, oh man! Every, oh oh yeah, they that. were up there. I don't they know were about up that. There. Nah, I'm not a part of that. I, I don't know about up there. I don't I mean, know about with, that with Clay, they're definitely a playoff team. Yeah, with Clay, yeah, I don't know about number two, but they're definitely in the playoffs. Watch out for them and watch out for that. What, for so, what? John, so John, when Kobe stuck it up after Shaq left and he was getting his, well, what would we say? Well, he got his. What else were you supposed to do? Right, he got his though. And that's what I'm saying. There's three games in. He's gonna get his. He, no, he's we're, not... talk, we're talking about three games in, though. We didn't do and it. I get... 15 games in. We're talking and about I get three that. games in. And okay, and he's thinking, all How right, much so it... these three these three games in, we gotta get on. We can't give a pass. When okay. the season ends and he gets his what he's usually because he's a unanimous MVP and he's one of the greats, we're he's gonna we're, we're gonna have to give him a pass. He did what he could do. But, I mean, it don't look some, like they, 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 have some, they have some ugly losses, though, man. <laughs> you, you, you think he's going to average look, 15 the rest of the bad, year? That's bro. disrespectful. It, it, does it look looks bad. bad. I saw the game. I know it looks bad. But for his caliber, I saw all three. you keep bringing it up. Unanimous MVP, two-time MVP. You think he's only going to average 15 points a game this year? Hey, bro. <laughs> Off of three is games. Is, is Cole going three games like that, B? Is LeBron James going Kobe, three games to like me, that? To me, Cole is way, way past Curry. So, no, we know that. But you're saying Cole, he's Cole an all-time great, team though. By himself. You're, you're I never him as, you guys got on me. You I just said, said we're it. But I'm saying, because when I when I said earlier, we go back and check the field like Pop said, when I said we're comparing Kobe and Curry, you and Jay were like, oh, we're not. I never compared. I don't think he's up there. I was saying so, he's so who, do we, who do we compare Curry to? If not, if not Kobe and LeBron, then who? Uh, like another superstar. Now, like not, 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 I don't know. I can't think of the top of my head, but he's not a legend. In my you know, the reason why the reason why it's hard to find somebody to compare to the crazy, game is so different. Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. He's a legend. I can't believe you're comparing him to, to Kobe. <laughs> nah. He's a legend. Don't you do that. You're telling me, nah. this, dude, this dude has won three championships. He's and you guys that. always get on about how much help he, he just has. Just say he changed the game, B. He's won three championships. He's had two regular season MVPs. <laughs> we about to compare him to Dame Lillard? Come on, I never man. Said that. Dude, to me, I see. Seen... But I've... then there's, there's I... people that think Dame Lillard is better than him, though. You know what I'm saying? It's... Exactly. No, no, what no, I've no, seen same. Kobe do, what I've seen Kobe do, I've never seen anybody else do. Obviously, other people have their opinions. I've never seen that. What I've, I, I'm not, I'm not, obviously, I've never seen somebody like Curry. Who could shoot the ball like he can from wherever he can? So maybe I'll, I'll go back. I'm not saying he's not a legend. He, he obviously he changed the game. I what what I'm saying, saying personally, me saying. growing up watching Kobe, I've never seen nobody. I, I touched the ball because of Kobe. It's like I don't. That, that's why to All me, right. I can't so, compare. Okay, wait, before, before you keep going, we already know our viewers know how you feel about Kobe. Yeah, and I know you don't feel that way about Steph Curry. But this generation, this Feels, basketball okay. world, Steph, Steph Curry. Curry is that. So is that's that. why we have to hold him at that. At that accountability, I see, I see it now. I got, you. I get you. I just, to me, I, I don't. But I get what that's, you're saying. That's, but that's because you, yeah. you don't feel like he's, he's like he ain't cold. He ain't Bron. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But they, they, they talk about Curry like he's cold, man. True. Like, he, no, I like get you. I, I, I get. I see what you're saying. I see. Oh, I mean, say, oh go ahead, Fox. Go ahead. Go. And then the one of the problems that they're having, man, when you're successful like that like the success that, that came to them, every organization that's successful like that, you're going to go through that. You're just going to go. But it's how you 
and Kobe had to go through it. Uh, when Magic retired, James Worthy had to go through it. But I think with Steph, you got on certain things. I know wait, it's three. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, but you know, because I mean, I mean, when when Magic left, man, Byron Scott and James Worthy looked like trash. <laughs> but they did it. <laughs> Hey, bro, first of all, first of all, look, man, love James Word. Love by they're not no man. No, no. So okay. Now I, I'm not gonna get into the story. No. Y'all crazy. Y'all y'all crazy. No. Y'all, no. We're not doing that. Y'all crazy. We're not doing that. Man. No, no. Oh, we're not doing saying. that. That's how the that's See, how look, they're... now you're gonna take it as we think now you're gonna no. take it as we think James Word is not that. If we're talking about the, the stuff we're talking about right now, no, man. No Byron well, Scott, man, no Jay Swerve, man. You, when you're looking at pieces, Steph Curry look like they, gonna look, they ain't making no playoffs. They're not making the playoffs. No, I agree with you. I just didn't agree with the James Worthy comparison. I didn't I didn't agree with that. I said was when Magic left, that's how Golden State look now. That's exactly how they look. Yeah, but uh, Magic, Magic was the best player, though. Like he's the best play. He was the he was the franchise player when what? when KD KD left when KD left Steph when KD was there <laughs> Steph was still considered the franchise player. If, if Clay's there, Steph is still considered the franchise player. They didn't lose a franchise player. You see how look at the look. Okay, they got to see, but here again, that's we can't really do that because they got a number one play, number one pick on their team. Is he a number one pick? He played two games in college, Pops. If, uh, Is he a number one pick? Anytime you get picked from one to ten, you are responsible for changing that franchise life. That's what the lottery is. Steph was, what, six or eight, whatever that case may be. Still, he, we give him the accolades. Now we don't want to let him have that pressure. No, he has to have that. He has to take some blame. So does Steve Kerr. Has to I take some you. blame. They have to, we going to play this on Draymond Green, please. Draymond Green going to do him a set threes and pass the ball. And all Steph does is come off screens and shoot the That's ball. So he, he's very important over there. <laughs> he's very the important. One, yeah. that's, that's very important <laughs> Steph, man. But, um, yeah, this, this kind of brings me into my, my next topic. Um, woo. So look, I had one rapid fire question, but I just I just kind of like the way um Blood was born a little bit on this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one at you first and then I got another one. So the first one, so we kind of stay on topic. Um my question is um does this change your mind about Steph being the best point guard in the league? Granted, like granted he doesn't have anybody, but compared to the other point guards in the league that's done well with less or better than they were expected to with what they had? Does that make sense? No? Yeah? Yeah. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> hey, Pops, you, you got you got me? Is he the best point guard? <clears throat> Is he still the best point guard in the league? It... That's tough. Let me let me let me, let me ask you this: Jay. Was Kevin Durant better than LeBron the years that he beat LeBron in the finals, or did Kevin Durant have more talent? Yeah, more talent. I, yeah, I think that kind of answers the question. What I mean by that is, I think Steph has been great. What I mean by that, Steph has been great, <laughs> but I, I feel a lot of times Steph has been really great. Because he's had more talent. I, I I look at Damian Lillard. I look at guys. I, I just I think Damian Lillard's right there. I, I feel like Damian Lillard's been there for years. I just feel like Damian Lillard doesn't have the talent, and he's not in the market that that uh, Steph is in. So he's never going to win them MVPs. And I feel like it's it's a we already know it's an image thing. We already know the off the is court. Dame better than Steph, Jay. I I think Dame better than Steph right now. I do. I think right now, Damian yeah. Lillard is better than Steph. I do. See, but I, I'll say this real quick. Or let's Craig, you got you have a point. Yeah, go. I'll, 
Oh, I'll, I'll wait till you're done. Go ahead. So, we, Jay, Jay, you just said this kind of piggybacking back and forth. You just said, obviously, uh, Curry's always had talent around him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he's – but so we always got on him when he won, I feel like, right? Not got on him, but we always said, well, he always had talent, yeah. this and that. But then last, last segment, we're talking about yeah, all these accolades that he has, but he's always had talent. So it's like to me, it's like, are we are we really going to give him that much praise? But then we're always going to say he had talent around him. Like, does that make him the MVP, like the unanimous MVP, even though he had that much talent around him? Got the, he got the medal. It's just like that. That's why to me, it's like we. Well, I remember when they were winning, it would be like, well, he had KD or he had this and that. Like they have a perfect system for him. But now that he doesn't have that, now we're saying, well, he's got to do this, he's got to do that, but. So it's like, are we going to reward him when he does have the talent? Are we going to get on when he doesn't? Like, with, I don't. Can I ask that? Yeah. I, I, but I, I'm like taking it, D. Lillard right now. I, I, I feel like, and you made a great point, and I know we keep bringing him up, rest in peace. Kobe Bryant was the same dude with Shaq, with Chris Mim, with Paul Gasol. He was the same dude. He was the same yeah. dude with Phil Jackson, Rudy Tom Jonovich, Whoever else came in, Byron Scott, <laughs> Mike Brown, Mike, Mike Brown. Brown. <laughs> he was the same dude. You look at you look at Kevin Durant, Scott Brooks, same. same. Steve Kerr, same. Uh, Steve Nash, same. Stephen Curry, I feel again, it's been different. Like when he had, I forgot who he had the first couple of years. He struggled. He got Mark Jackson. He got him. He got him. He, they got him competitive. He's had Steve Kerr. If you're that guy, though, you got to be that guy. Or is he a system guy? Is he Steve Nash? Then let's put him in the let's put him in the box with Steve Nash, where people are going to say Steve Nash was probably more system. And that's cool. But we never going to say Steve Nash was the greatest point guard ever played the game. We never going to say that. We're going to say Steve Nash was a, was the best product ever in D'Antoni's system, and he was a great player. Then let's say. Steph Curry's the greatest player ever in that system. But we cannot yeah. put him with the greatest point guards ever if it changes based on who's coaching and who's and what system he's playing. He, then how do we put him up there? And that was my point of like how I wouldn't yeah. compare him. And like John brought up a good point, how that was their Kobe LeBron growing up. So I get it. That's why I was asking because to right. me it's like we can't give him the pass and then it's like, well, he's got to be able to do this. So, but I, I think too, Paul's brought it up uh, real quick, John. Paul's brought it up right. about the media and the darling and all that. I think when, when Golden State's winning, everybody's all happy. You know, they're they're the darling. It's somebody against LeBron. They're beating LeBron. Then LeBron beats them, and then they go get KD. It's the storyline of it. So I think that just kind of threw him in there, too, with his production of, oh, maybe he's probably the best point guard in the league right now. But I, 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 I'm i taking – right now I'm taking D-Little. That he's, what he did in the bubble, what he's done the last four to five years, and on top of that, I like his game. I like how he is. I like how he doesn't take anything from anybody. Yeah, that's 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 my guy right now. Um, yeah, it's and not even not even just Dane, man. Um, I'm not gonna name anyone else because I don't want to be reckless. I feel like if I name anyone else, it'd be kind of reckless. But we'll we'll just <laughs> no, we okay, no, no, no. I'll, I can throw I can throw Chris Paul, arguably. You know what I'm saying? I can arguably say Chris Paul. I was gonna say somebody hey. else that, that I'm surprised we didn't mention. Who? Kyrie. Kyrie, mm. nah, it'd it be he, he gonna put up numbers, but the success, the, the success Ooh. is gonna be, yeah, but, but yeah. But you gotta realize that there's not a lot of people that always consider Steph Curry the best point guard, even though the media and the NBA he wants him to be that, mm. you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you brought it up too, John, a couple days ago. You think Kyrie's coming for the MVP, you think he's coming, yeah, but that's everybody. But our, I, I learned from watching Cole play that MVP don't, they don't, don't matter, matter. Yeah. they don't. MVPs don't get the MVP. Like, I, if that's the case, LeBron would have about twelve MVPs. He wouldn't have, have, wouldn't have lost. MVPs. Yeah. Like it, MVP don't get MVP. But that's I just it's crazy because he can't hide, man. Jay brought it up all the time how they baby go to state. Oh no, Pops brought that up. He said they baby go to state, bro. He, he, there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> he can't hide on D. He can't hide uh, bringing that ball up the court, like. There's he no only Draymond. He's, he's got a game. he's got a score. He's got to initiate offense. He's got to get dudes in spots. And those that's what point guards do. And there's dudes in the league that do that, like and score. Dame does that and score, man. 
and he's going to guard the other point guard. Same thing with Chris Paul. Like, he's – I think he was he was really, really good. Not – I'll say great. He was great because he's one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. But he was asked to do less. Like, if you just ask Chris Paul to – Run the offense and get assists. Don't play no defense. Don't worry about scoring. How great would he look? Like you're gonna look great when you when you're asked to do less. Like in the That's games, those, yeah. what do you like? What do you, what do you, like? What what is Step been asked to do these last few years? What has he been? What has he been asked to do? Shoot the ball. Besides shoot the Yeah. I agree. That 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 just yeah. I I agree 100. percent well, uh, also, you're on mute, Craig. Well, well, well. Also, what's going to happen is just like, just like we're questioning how good is Steph and the greatness of Steph. Pretty soon, it's going to come up about Steve Kerr, man. It's going, it's going to come up about Steve Kerr. He, he, they got young dudes. They, it, it, it's, a, it's a different team. Uh, you know, they, they done. They done kind of took the Rolls Royce away from you in the Bentley. You got to uh, rebuild. Yeah. You got to coach yeah. now, Pops. You got to coach. Yeah. But yeah. But you, the, coach. you know, what, 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 what's, what's, what's the, um, they're going to be looking at you. They, you're going to get, you got a pass last year. You're probably going to get a pass this year. They all going to probably get a pass. What's going to happen that third year? And like I said, because the league, Will baby go to state? They're going to baby him. The league don't want him to fire Steve Curry. He'll resign and step down or whatever the case may be. But we got to start looking and just like we looking at Steph, we better start looking at him too. Like, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you guys think that New York Arena has anything to do with it? Obviously, like the NBA trying to collect as much money as possible. Obviously, they can't be in there right now, but. You know, trying to make sure that the revenue is in there because obviously the higher, the bigger market teams, they share all that revenue with the with the low market team. So, you think that's why they keep them up there too, just to make sure once fans are allowed back in, they can they they can you know still make money off of them. But what's that? What's that new dude? What's the what's the kid that played for him now? The center, wasn't it Wiseman? Wiseman. Yeah. You know, he he got he got some upside. They, they got to mm-hmm. figure it out. Yeah. No, I agree. I just thought maybe that had something. Hey, to they they waited too long to trade Wiggins, man. I told y'all at the beginning of the <laughs> they should have they should have been got rid of him, bro. Before he Wiggins shows. is who I'm he is, man. I'm glad y'all brought that up. I'm really glad y'all brought because if I was them, I mean, much I'd have kept D'Lo instead of Wiggins. Facts. Facts. <laughs> would, nah. He, I, they would have got toe up all D. Uh, no man, they should have traded. Up regardless, <laughs> they should have traded. They should have traded Wiggins, man. He could put. He could put that thing in the basket. I got kept, a ball handler for Steph. Yeah. Like, I mean, because Wiggins is he. I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Wiggins is a bust. He's a bust. Oh man. Uh, uh. All right, let me. Can I say ahead, one, one quick thing? One quick thing, though, and also too, we're only three games in, so let's see what. <laughs> let's give you know, give a few more games to see how how it pans out. You know what I mean? Hey, real, real, real quick, John. Yes, so, yes or no? Bro. Yes or no for everybody? Is do we think the Hornets are better than the Warriors right now? I think the Hornets would tear the Warriors up. Okay, cool, J- Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, Warriors. Craig. You think they better? Yeah, obviously yeah. it's only three games. Yeah, pops. Yeah. Wait, wait. So when you say when you say, do I think they better? Like, are we talking down the line or they play? No, I'm talking about right now. Play? I agree with you guys. I had this conversation with somebody saying that the Warriors were so much better because uh, of yeah. Wiggins and they, that. They played the Warriors tomorrow. That's an L. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's what I thought. Yeah, that's. I just I had, I had to prove a point. So. And pop pops brings up a good point, man. Them dudes are just running around. Like, they yeah. don't know what they're doing. So I'm saying. They're just running into each other. They don't. They, <laughs> you got. That's you not got, their game. You got Wiggins. You got Wiggins handling the ball, coming off screens. Uh, look, man. Love Wiggins. That's not his game. That is not his game. Got to catch and jab, pull up, rip through. 
coming off the screen, shoulder cross, hold the dude. Up. No, man. You got talent, man. Be a three and D and, and stop all this trash. You be just be good. Nah, man. This is this is something I, I, I remember, and I think this accounts to every sport. Players make the offense. Offense don't make the players, man. Players make the offense. The, the triangle looked great with Shaq and Kobe. It looked great <laughs> with Jordan and Pippen and Rodman. When the Dallas Mavericks tried to do it that year, they won, t- they won 12 games, ran the same offense, no Jordan, no Pippen, no Shaq, no Kobe. So we can run Golden State. We can, we can let Steph do his handoffs, and he can run off pin downs and staggers. But if you if the guy setting the screen ain't Clay, or you got to stay home, <laughs> them coverage is going to look completely different. Kelly Hooper, you can have it. Andrew Wiggins, you can yeah. have it. Take it. You can help up as much as you want. Do yeah. it, please. That's one of it. But Clay, uh, nah, that's the difference. But, then, but, but at the end of the day, every great player, like we've said, has had to go through it. Kobe had to go through it where he can triple team because there was no Paul Gasol. Chris Paul, the best game Lily had to go through it. Like they all have to go through it. So we're just seeing Steph go through it for the first time since his first or second year in the league. He never had to go through it. That's what to me what it is. We're watching him go through it. Yeah, yeah man. Um let us let us know in the comments what you think, man. Are we being are we being too hard on Steph? Uh, does he deserve a pass? Or Oh, <laughs> if if LeBron, hold on, man, I was about to close it, but B, oh, my God. if LeBron James started out like Steph is doing, bro, you would be going off. And I said, why? as would Cause I, because his antics. as would I, because his antics. Okay, right. I'm a, I'm a, I airball the free throw, so I'm gonna sip on wine to the right side of my body. All right, so sorry, I audience, ball. sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> who says that? <laughs> All right, um. Yeah, the steps is 300. The step deserve a pass. Um, I think not, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, Clippers, uh, lick your wounds, get some stitches. <laughs> Got a long season. Kawhi, feel better. And uh, <laughs> they need you, bro. They need you bad. But uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hurry back. <laughs> But uh, this is agreed to this. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. Shout out to Bi again too, man. Congratulations, player of the week. Um, but yeah, this is agreed to disagree. I'm my boy Jay Lloyd, Greg Williams, BG, Pops. I'm John, man. Until next time. We out.